Hi everyone and welcome back to my desk. Today on the healing bench we have this small Bluetooth speaker that was given to me by a friend to take a look and the complaint is that it's no longer working. After some initial inspection I noticed that this is broken off so this should be tight in there and if we wiggle it we can see that at least one of the wires inside i don't know how much you can see that one of the wires inside is broken from the speaker so let's take it apart and see if there is anything wrong with it or it's just the wire that we need to connect but before we do that let me thank today's sponsor which is altium 365 altium 365 transforms your pcb design process this cloud-based platform seamlessly integrates with altium designer making collaboration easier than ever with Altium 365, you can manage version control, share designs in real time, and effortlessly collaborate with your team, all from your browser. Plus, it provides advanced library management and supply chain data, streamlining every step of your design workflow. And thanks to Octopart, you'll have instant access to millions of electronic components, ensuring you have the best parts ready for your design. Streamline your electronic design process with Altium 365, Altium Designer, and Octopart. Check out the links in the description to learn more. Okay, so in order to open this, I am thinking that my, there might be some screws underneath this foam pad. So let me take a screwdriver or something so I can pry it up. And yes, there's at least one screw there. I guess there will be another one on the opposite side. Okay, and that released the cover and we have the battery cell. Okay, that's interesting. This is the first time that I'm actually seeing one of these cells. It's a lot smaller than 18650. I was expecting to have one of those like pouch cells that we usually get with some devices. Okay, let's leave that aside and... Okay, and the USB seems to be broken off as well. Okay, we're going to take care of that. And let's see. Yeah, so one of the wires is definitely broken off. The other one is intact, but we're going to replace both. And I'm thinking how we can attack this because there is not much space in there for the soldering iron but i think that it will be just enough okay so the speaker connects to these two pads here and we're going to replace both of the wires with uh, a bit longer ones okay so let's first add some fresh solder here on these joints and we can release the speaker wires okay so that would release the PCB and it should also release this plastic so here is the broken off wire let's see how we can tackle this because this one is glued in there I don't want to remove that glue so I'm gonna try and Poke from the side. Hold on, I can already see that, yeah, this is also broken off. So let's just finish the job and we'll glue that speaker back in. Yeah, this seems to be metal, so it's sticking to it. Okay. That's a lot better now to work on. Okay, so let's add some fresh solder. And I'm gonna solder the wires. Okay. 
Okay, so that should be soldered nicely. Uh, and now let's move to the PCB. If we take a look at the USB port, you will see that all of the track has been ripped from the board. So this would be a bit tricky to fix because I don't have a microscope and at least one of the pads will require it. So we'll see how it goes. I want to first clean up all of the remaining pads. Okay, so that's the port cleaned. Now let's focus on the PCB and we'll have to grind a bit of the tracks here so we can solder the connector back on. Let's see if we can grind the tracks with this exacto knife. You can see that I have the tip broken off, so that should help us with that. Okay, that seems okay. This one is a ground plane, so. And same with this. Okay, so I think we can work with that. I've grind off a bit of the side ground plane and a bit of the track going here. The problem that I'm seeing is this track here because I've accidentally touched this other track that goes around and comes here. So we'll need to solder a piece of wire on this side and a piece of wire on this side that goes to the pad so we can actually connect the the pads on the uh, USB port. Let's see how that goes. Okay, so I've added small wires and before I actually solder the port, I want to check the wires that they do have a continuity. And this one we can check here and it will probably come from, yeah, from a power supply pin. So this one is connected here. This goes to the chip. And yeah, it's this last pin here let's check that we don't have a short circuit on it we don't and let's check this one it should also go to the chip and yes it's the one just before the last one so once we connect the port we can make sure that we have continuity and that it works and these two on the sides are just the ground planes so let's solder the port okay so I'm gonna add the port on top and first thing I'm gonna do I'm gonna line it that looks about right and I'm gonna just solder one of the legs here on the side That should keep it in place. And let's see how we can tackle this. There's not really an easy way for me to film this better while working on it. So bear me with me for a second.
So let's see if we actually have the connections. This one looks good. And this one also looks good. It should be connected to one of these pins, I think. Yeah, so it's this one. Now, let's see. First, I want to check for a short. We don't have a short. And this one is connected. And this one is the one I suspect it might not be. And yeah, we don't have that connected. So let's figure out what we're going to do. Okay, so I had to deal with that a bit off camera. You could see here that I've grinded a piece of the track where it goes here and I've soldered it directly to the pin with a bit of a floating wire here. And now we have continuity on all of the lugs and we can confirm that with the multimeter. So if I touch one of my probes on this pin then we have continuity there and we don't with the other pins and this one yeah has and it doesn't with the end pin so we should be good to go and I'm gonna add some more solder here on the end to secure it from this side but I think it will be a good option to also secure this with some form of glue later on but first let's make sure that it actually works and next up is to connect the speaker and I'm gonna pass the wires through the hole so we have slightly longer wires this time Let's position the board as it's gonna sit. I'm gonna add a bit of solder to the wires so they flow easily. And we don't really need that full length, so. Negative goes on the first pad. And positive goes on the second. The wire we can actually pass through and have it on the bottom. Now you see this is how this was glued. Now I think that the moment of truth is to have the battery and make sure that it's the right orientation. I'm gonna just double confirm that and also Let's check what's the voltage on the battery. So this should be negative and this should be positive and we don't have any voltage on there. Okay, that's a PT. Let's see if we can revive this battery. Okay, so I have the battery hooked to my bench power supply and um, I have it set to three volts, about 50 milliamps. And currently we're uh, adding about 50 milliamps. The voltage went up to about two volts and I'll leave it for a while like this to see if we can actually give it a new life. I know that this is not the best, but it's a small battery. It shouldn't be a problem for, for the um, device. We'll see how that goes if, um, anything then we can probably replace it with some of the salvage to the vet batteries that we have so I'll be back in a while and there's the power supply you could see that the battery is now up to 3.6 volts and taking about 20 milliamps so I'm gonna have it running for a bit let increase the voltage and this should charge the battery just enough so it can start charging on its own. 
uh, when in the device uh, but again I don't really recommend this because you could damage the battery if it's gone under voltage and this one um, definitely has because it was at zero volts but it should be enough to just test it you should definitely replace this battery if this is the case on your end okay so I'm gonna disconnect it now and let's see what's the voltage on it 2.3 2.2 volts and it's gonna go down yeah we'll see how this develops I don't think that we could um, revive this but I'll give it some time to settle in but in the meantime just to test the device I'm gonna use the bench power supply to hook it up and mimic the battery so at least we can know if our repair worked so this one will be the negative and I have it set to 3.8 volts at 50 milliamps this would be the positive it's not drawing any current let's see if we can turn it on and we have a blue light will we have any sound let me try and connect to it on the phone okay so I see a device it's THS10U and we want to pair it and it says connected for audio let's try and play something and of course I'm gonna play some of my recent videos okay so there is no sound yet but let's try and okay let's figure this out so it's taking commands so you could see if I try to lower the voice or reduce it's reducing but and you actually can find I did a recent video on another speaker that you'll find it up here let's pause that and figure out why it's not working now unfortunately I've been playing with this for a while off camera and I wasn't able to figure out what was wrong I tested the speaker it's fine I tested with another speaker it still didn't work I also checked all the connection reflow the chip and uh, unfortunately that made no change so we are not getting any output of the speaker but everything else seems to be working so if for example I use the button over here to go back you could see that it's now switching and changing videos as expected and also if I press and hold that would lower the volume increase the volume on the phone so everything seems to be working except for the amplifier chip I tried sourcing it locally but also I wasn't able to find it so I ordered out of AliExpress and it should be here in about two to three weeks we'll see how it goes let me know if you have any ideas what else might be wrong with this I'll have to end the video here unfortunately this one is a failed repair but at least we managed to get the port in place and once the chips arrive I'll try it out and let you know how it went make sure to subscribe if you like this video and I'll see you all in the next one cheers